Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with GOFS. And friends, today we're going to use it to learn more about parts of an airplane, attitudes of flight, and flight controls. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, so first things first, if you haven't tried GOFS, I'll have a link down below. I've got several tutorials for how you can fly for free in a browser, which is pretty darn amazing. The first thing I'm going to talk to you about right here is that this aircraft is the Cessna 172. I've got the classic version loaded. The nice thing about this is it has all the parts that we need for what we're going to talk about. So friends, let's walk through the parts of this airplane. The first thing I'd like to talk about is the wing. It goes all the way across. It is also called an airfoil. Friends, on this wing, there are two ailerons. They are on the outside edge of the wing. When a plane experiences roll, it is because of these ailerons. And we'll talk about roll more later. There are also two things called flaps. When you press these on the keyboard, they help you slow down the aircraft when you're getting ready to land. So flaps are on the middle, the ailerons are on the outside. The center of the aircraft is called the fuselage or the body of the aircraft. Beneath the aircraft, you'll find gear. Sometimes the gear is up in the airplane and you have to press the letter G to bring it down for landing. In the back of the aircraft, you will find the horizontal stabilizer. It goes all the way across the back and it has two elevators on it. The elevators move up or down and they control the pitch of the aircraft. This is what makes it so the aircraft can aim at the ground when it's time to land or it can aim up in the air when it's trying to climb. If I orbit a little bit more flat, you can see more clearly how those move. Friends, in the back of the aircraft is a vertical stabilizer. On it, you will find a rudder. The rudder moves left or right, and it helps control yaw, which is when it spins around this axis. Once again, I'll show you that in another part of this video. Friends, those are the parts you need to remember. I will say them again super quick. You've got the wing, you've got the ailerons, you've got the flaps. Notice the flaps are in the middle. You've got the horizontal stabilizer with the elevators. They go up and down. And then finally, you have a vertical stabilizer with a rudder. Now, friends, I need you to open the Jamboard, which you'll find in the description of this video. Friends, when you click on this Jamboard, you will not be able to edit it. You must click on this button and choose Make a Copy. Backspace over the words Master. And I want you to put your initials or your name. Once you've got that done, I want you to actually complete the Jamboard. Friends, the steps are super simple. Add a sticky note with your name. You can make a new one, or you can just type your name where this one was. When you're done with that, you need to drag the labels to the correct parts. For instance, horizontal stabilizer, drag it to where the horizontal stabilizer is. And then finally, use the pen to draw an arrow or circle the part you're choosing. So for instance, if I was doing the rudder, I would drag this back to the rudder area and then I would use the pen pick a color I wanted pick the pen style I wanted and then I would circle make a mark draw a line so that we can tell for sure that you understand where the rudder is on an aircraft when you're done with page one you can move to page two and complete the same process for all the stuff that I just showed you on the airplane friends the next part I'd like to talk to you about are the three attitudes of flight they are pitch roll and yaw when you see a plane roll it looks just like this if you were rolling out of bed that's the same thing as roll it goes around this center post you can see I just made it really green so it's real easy for you to see but it just rotates around that when a plane does roll the second one I'd like to talk to you about is yaw this is a post around the center of your airplane and when it rotates around that it would be because of the rudder and it just rotates side to side this is called yaw it's the strangest word but that's what it is so once again we've got roll which is like you roll out of bed we've got yaw which is like if you were standing with your arms twisted side to side that is what yaw is the third one we've got is pitch Pitch has a pin like through the wings, and when you have pitch, it is when the plane is aimed up or the plane is aimed down. That is pitch, roll, and yaw 
in a nutshell. Now go to your Jamboard and see if you can get the pictures in the right spots. All right, friends, so once again, you return to your Jamboard, and now you simply need to put the words to the correct attitudes from flight that I just showed you in the video. Hopefully then when you're flying, you'll be able to think about, oh, this is my pitch, this is my roll, and this is my yaw as you're using GOFS. Friends, the final thing I want to talk about are the four forces that affect an aircraft. The first one is this yellow one I marked down here. It is lift. It causes an airplane to go up because of the Bernoulli effect, which is what happens when there is lower pressure above a wing. The second force I'd like to mention is gravity because it counteracts lift. It is constantly pushing downward, so this arrow would be gravity as it's trying to pull it down towards the ground. To get the plane to go forward, we have what's called thrust. Engines make thrust, which push it this way, and then finally that is always being battled by drag, which is the resistance of the wind as we move through the air. Friends, those are your four forces, and now I need you to go back to your Jamboard and solve those accordingly. Friends, as you can see on page four, you've got your words, thrust, gravity, drag, and lift, and you've got your four arrows. Please put them in the correct locations on your Jamboard. Finally, friends, on the last page, I want a few pictures of your favorite planes Friends, as you're playing in here, I'd love to have you experiment with all kinds of different aircraft, including the community contributed ones. When you're in here, enjoy the planes, have fun, but I also want you to take a few pictures of your favorites to fly. Make sure you pause and then orbit around so that you've got a good view. Notice it goes the opposite way, so when I push up, I can look at it from the top. Friends, simply use the snipping tool to take a picture, and this is one of my favorite things. Once you've got it, you can just copy and switch to your Jamboard, and then paste it in with Control-V. Show me some of your favorite planes, maybe tell me a story about them. You can add sticky notes, tell me where you flew, and all the cool things you've been doing as you've been learning about flight and getting better at using GOFS. Friends, the final step is you do need to turn this in. I would like you to download it as a PDF. That way you can give me a copy so that I can see you did all your steps. Notice I'm putting mine in my downloads with the folder, and then you need to turn that in in Google Classroom. All right, everybody, so hopefully that clears up parts of an airplane, attitudes of flight, flight controls, and the forces of flight. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, make sure you add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.